Hello, Allen ISD students. Welcome to your AHS course selection video. It's time to plan. Let's start with graduation requirements. So each student must have four credits in each of the core subject areas, and those are English, social studies, math, and science. Everybody's gonna have two credits in the same foreign language, one fine art credit like from band or art, one PE credit like from athletics or PE with six elective credits that have four of those credits going towards your endorsement. That's gonna give you a total minimum number of 26 credits for graduation. So I mentioned the endorsement. So everybody's gonna have at least one endorsement from one of the five endorsement pathways. And those are business and industry, arts and humanities, STEM, public service, and multidisciplinary. And your endorsement should reflect your interest for after graduation and, and, and during your high school years. The academic planning guide is, is a powerful tool that we have at your disposal for you during your time at Allen High School. It's got great information such as general grad info, academic resources and reminders, endorsement pathways, course descriptions, grade level restrictions for courses, and prerequisites. And it's on the AHS website under the Academics tab. Privilege period. So every student must have at least one privilege period, and this is for our academic interventions like academic monitoring or EOC remediation. Should you ever need them, it'll be during your privilege. So when you're choosing your courses, we want you to choose wisely. Uh, access your transcript, reference the APG, talk to your parents, your teachers, and your counselor. Uh, the courses reflected on your course selection will be the only classes you may schedule during ARENA, so again, choose wisely. And if you do not select any courses, counselors will select them for you based on your graduation needs and class availability. More tips for course selection? Select courses that will challenge you but not overwhelm you. Ask your current teacher for input about which advanced courses might be good options for you and remember to balance. Think about your extracurricular activities and other commitments when choosing your course load. Application courses. For the list of applications, see the course selection resource page on the AHS website. Applications are located in the course selection tab under academics. Make sure you have alternates listed for any application courses just in case you're not selected. So course selection review, you're going to use your student Skyward login and password. Remember your counselor is available to help you with course requests. But course selections are not finalized until you have the individual counselor conference in the spring. Once you have that, you cannot change your course selections. So finalized selections should have eight courses in Skyward. That includes at least one privilege period. Remember, for full year classes, you will need to enter both semesters. If choosing dual credit, make sure you've got the AHS equivalent class in the alternates tab, and don't forget to have at least five alternates listed. The arena schedule process is three steps. So step one, course selection, that's where you select the courses you would like to take, and that starts in the fall in a few weeks. The master schedule is then built based on those in early spring. And then step three is arena scheduling, where we open the arena for you to actually schedule the times for your courses through Skyward. Don't forget those scheduling resources. So on the AHS website, under the Academics tab at the top of the page, you've got your Course Selection and Planning tab that lists your APG, course selection info, and arena scheduling info. So let's wrap up with some FAQs. What is course selection versus arena? Course selection is when you select the courses you want to take, so like English 3, Algebra 2, History. Arena scheduling is when you actually schedule the time for those, so first period English or second period Physics, etc. Another FAQ, what if I want to level up or down in a class after school starts? Well, we have a process for that, the Advanced Academic Level Change Process. So students who decide after careful consideration that they would like to level up in a course, they can apply in the first three weeks of school. 
Students who, despite every effort, are not finding success in an advanced AP or IB course may submit an application for a level change at the end of the first six weeks and again at the end of the semester. Now remember, not every level change request is approved. Initial struggle in an advanced course does not mean that you won't be successful. We want students to persevere through academic challenge. And that enrollment in those courses is binding for the entire year. And don't forget, for a list of all of them, look at the APG on the AHS website. Are students able to access Skyward through a mobile device? Yes, you can do course selection on your phone. However, for arena scheduling, you must use a desktop or a laptop. And how do I actually choose courses in Skyward? Refer to the How-To Course Selection Worksheet, which is found on the AHS website under the Academics tab. What if I don't get accepted into an application class? Well, counselors will be able to replace the application class with one of your alternates. And when will I know if I'm accepted? Acceptance into an application course will be made prior to spring break and arena scheduling. Sponsors and teachers will communicate acceptance to the students. Another FAQ, am I required to have a privilege period? Yes, campus support and intervention is put in place during privilege periods. What advanced courses are available? Please see the full list of courses and their descriptions in the APG on the AHS website. And please note, there are currently no dual credit cores available for 10th grade students, but there are CTE options available. I'm planning to take dual credit. What classes do I add for course selection? You can choose dual credit courses during course selection. They're there. Remember to add the AHS course equivalent in your alternates when selecting dual credit. I'm either a current full IB junior or a current sophomore planning to be a full IB student. What do I input for course selection? So the IB coordinator builds the schedule for all full IB diploma students. Feel free to select the IB courses you think you need. However, your schedule will ultimately be determined by your diploma and graduation requirements. And that includes scheduling and privilege periods. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or need any help, please reach out to your current counselor. We are happy to help. And go Eagles! Created using Powtoon.